Okay, so we've left Istanbul and we're heading further east into central Anatolia, Turkey, stopping in Cappadocia. Cappadocia is best known for its unique moon-like landscape. The rocky wonderland is honeycombed with a network of human-created caves, living quarters, places of worship, stables, and storehouses were all dug into the soft stone. In fact, tunnel complexes formed entire towns with as many as eight different stories hidden underground. Many years later, deep in the rocky underground settlements, you can find outstanding examples of Byzantine art. But flying over the rocky formations of Cappadocia are hundreds of hot air balloons, making it one of the most unique places to go for a balloon ride. So this is Balloons Over Bedrock, baby. This town, Gorem, was inhabited as early as 1800 to 1200 BC and later sat uncomfortably on a boundary between rival empires. This precarious political position meant that residents needed hiding places and found them by tunneling into the rock itself. Gorem is rich with history, but not all of Cappadocia's dwellings are museums. Some still serve as homes and others as hotels, which offer a truly unique hospitality experience. All right, so we're in Cappadocia. Um, this right here is our accommodations, believe it or not. We're staying inside a cave hotel, which is kind of like how people used to stay or live about hundreds of thousands of years ago. So just to give you a little bit more perspective, we're gonna head over to the Air Museum. It's called the Open Air Museum where they actually have uh, actual caves of, and paintings and stuff inside where the people actually lived many thousands of years ago. The Open Air Museum resembles a vast monastic complex composed of scores of refectory monasteries placed side by side. A member of the UNESCO World Heritage since 1984, the area covered by the museum forms a coherent geographical entity and represents historical unity. Soccer. Um, you know, 
picture of the family over here. The museum contains the finest of the rock cut churches with beautiful frescoes whose colors still retain all their original freshness. It also presents unique examples of rock hewn architecture and fresco technique. Next up, we take to the skies and enjoy a balloon ride over Cappadocia. We'll get some breathtaking views of the town and the rock formations. All right, so it's been a long day. Um, I'm gonna go take a Turkish bath, it's called a hammam, and uh, Unfortunately, the cameras can't come inside, so I'll see you in the morning.